press for start to unmute. Okay, they are on. Press for start to unmute. Four and the star. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Good morning, sis. How are you? Good morning. I think I was edifying y'all like y'all was uh, Beyonce and Jay Z around here. <laughs> And y'all was playing games. I'm like, what? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I'm super excited that you are on the line. I'm going to get out the way because I have talked quite enough. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm super excited, too, to be here this morning with you guys. Um, I'm Greg's not on yet, but I'm sure he's coming. So um, do me a favor, Gail, and give him a call. But um, hello, you guys. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, my name is Tony Ward. I'm sure you guys know that because Gail probably said it 152 times uh, before I was able to hop on here this morning. But I'm super excited to be here. I don't normally speak to people before 6 a.m. So, <laughs> um, a special event for sure. Uh, Fred and I wanted to come and just kind of talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, what's going on with the company, uh, what's going on in, you know, our own uh, lives as far as building and getting things together with the business and, you know, just kind of give out some helpful hints um, to you guys on how to build, how to really structure your business, um, how to make the business your own. Because, you know, um, it's one thing um, to be, um, in evolution, right? Like I'm a part of evolution travel. It's something totally different for evolution to be in you and to be um, a part of you and your life um, and what you're doing. And it really is, sometimes it can be hard, you know, and we understand the struggles. Um, we also understand some of the obstacles that you have to go through in order to get to the different positions and levels and, you know, your definition of success. Um, within the business and we wanted to help you know get you guys past some of those things so today um, I'm going to talk a little bit about you know what you need to do and the mindset you need to have um, and the tenacity that needs to be within you in order to get where you need to go because it's not easy I will never tell anybody I won't tell you guys I won't sit here and say oh yeah you know what I did it overnight it was nothing because what you guys might understand as an overnight success took six years to develop, right? It took six years to get there. Six years of people telling me no. Six years of people thinking I was crazy. Um, six years of people thinking I was wasting my time. And I'm sure that you guys can relate um, to some of those things because <clears throat> as you start to grow your business and as you start to embrace it more and as it starts to become, you start to evolve into the entrepreneur that you are. Um, is anybody on this phone at 5 o'clock a.m. on the Pacific, you know, and I know even on the um, East Coast, 8.30 at work, hiding under your desk because you want to get these extra nuggets. Anybody with that type of dedication, food that, that entrepreneurial spirit is growing inside of you. And as it starts to grow inside of you, what happens is you start to evolve and you start to sound different to your friends. You start to look um different to your friends you know you start to feel different to your friends so you know they start to act different towards you and it can kind of be a little disheartening sometimes when you know this is such a good company and you know you know a hundred percent you know what you know what you know that this is something that's going to help you and can definitely help them and you don't understand why they don't see it you don't understand why they don't want it you don't understand why they're rejecting it and you, right? And sometimes rejection just comes from um, fear. You know, rejection can come from, you know, not knowing, uh, just, you know, just not knowing what's on the other side of that wall. And that's scary to people. You know, it's, it's kind of hard because I'm dealing with a situation now with one of my agents who's very close to me. And I'm not going to mention their name. I'm just going to tell you that he's fighting so hard. Um, and I'm getting a little emotional talking about it because I can feel her spirit, but she's getting, she's getting so much, you know, rejection as she's trying to get to her next level. And it's really sad because 
her family can see her working seven days a week, 12 hours a day, struggling to make it work because that's what they understand. But what they can't see her do is working a couple hours a day, relaxing on the beach and living her life in her freedom with her flexibility where she can go and actually be an active participant in her life. They don't understand that. They understand that, yes, you work these four years, you get this money, you get your 401k, you struggle, and then you can retire and maybe enjoy two or three years of your life before you die. That makes sense to them. And it's sad because that makes sense to a large percentage of the population. And I want you guys to understand that the way you think, the way you feel, and what you know to be true is not thought of a crazy person, okay? Those are thoughts of the bosses and the employers and the, the people who of Facebook and Google and all those different things. Those are the thoughts of the people who became billionaires. Those are the thoughts of the people who um, decided to make their own way, right? You're not crazy for thinking that you can actually make it as an entrepreneur. I want to be the person to tell you that you're not, okay? And those type of you know, outward thinking, outside of the box thoughts is what's going to get you to that next level. So I would definitely encourage you to laugh. <laughs> and when somebody tells you, are you serious? Are you going to another one of those travel parties? Who are those people? Is that a cult or something you're a part of? Absolutely, yes. They have brainwashing into thinking I could actually succeed on this earth without somebody issuing me out what they think I'm worth. I have been brainwashed to understand that I work whatever it is I think I deserve and I'm willing to work for. Yes, I'm so happy to be brainwashed in that way. I would not ever want to think or be brainwashed to think I have to wake up at the ass crack of dawn, get myself dressed, sit in two hours of traffic, go to a place for eight or nine or ten hours to participate and give away those hours of my life with people that I don't even like, just so I can leave, run out of there, get back in one or two hours of traffic to get home and try to squeeze in an hour of time with my family and my friends and my whoever. Now, that's crazy. So you really have to sit back and understand, put your own you know, helmet on, understand exactly what's real and what's not real and how things should work and how things should work. Because just because society says you have to be a part of this rat race does not mean you have to hop on the wheel and run, okay? How about you're going to make the wheel for the rats to run on? They all want to work. Give them something else on. You don't have to be a part of that box, and you don't have to be accepted by everybody. God made all of us in our own unique and fabulous way. Live in your uniqueness. Be authentically you because you and your authenticity is what's going to get you to where you need to be. If you wanted us to be clones, we'd all be five, eight, skinny with brown hair, brown eyes, and we just all look alike. He made us all look entirely different for a reason, right? So embrace that. Understand that it's okay for you to be you no matter who accepts you. That's super okay. And understand that, you know, you have that with your conviction. I think somebody coming up to me and saying, good day, but your name's not David. Your name is John. David knows his name is David. Nobody can tell him any different. I don't care what kind of, you know, you're crazy for thinking your name is David. I don't know my name is David. I wish you would tell me my name is David. No one's going to be able to tell you anything. Oh, evolution is crazy. I know evolution is the best thing on earth. If nobody on this end of the world could ever tell me it's not. I had a um, somebody inbox me, somebody from my previous company um, a couple of days ago. And when I came to evolution, I was called all kind of names. I was ridiculed. If we would have been back in the day, you would have think, thought that they stoned me in the middle of the, of the town, right? They did me so dirty. But now they're in my inbox asking me, hey, would you come back? <laughs> And I had to laugh. There's a meme of this lady drinking a, um, some coffee or tea or something. She's spitting her, her, juice, her drink out. And that's the meme I gave them when they um, even entered my inbox. Like, are you serious? Are you really serious? I said, I wouldn't even disrespect my eyes or my ears 
listening to some nonsense. Do you know how much money I make at Evolution? Do you know how good these people are to me over here? Do you know what kind of company I'm in? Boy, bye. So when you have that inside and you know, then there's nothing that's going to stop you um, from getting to that next level because you're going to know. And I want to talk to you guys about that too because a lot of times you see people like, you know, an urgency definitely um, is the key to success. You got to get there as fast as you can. But guess what? Your fast is not my fast at all. So two years of platinum might be speedy gun up. Because that's your speed. Five years to platinum. Think about it. The job that you work now, for those of you who work, okay, think about it. If you work five years on your job from start to finish, you get hired, and five years later, you receive a $60,000 raise, and it took you five years to get there. Oh, my goodness. Your mom, your grandparents, your aunties, your uncles, have they ever, have you known anybody ever in corporate America? to work at a job for five years diligently and receive a $60,000 a year promotion? I don't think so. If, there, if you did, the unemployment rate would be so high. People would be out there trying their hardest to get these jobs. It's going to give them that type of a, you know, promotion of five years. And that's the problem. That's why, because that's so rare, people don't understand what we do because they don't understand how that can possibly happen. Oh, no, five years in a job, I'm going to get at least two, $3 raise. No, sweetie. We're going to get a $60,000 raise, even if it took you 10 years to get a $60,000 raise. It's so worth it. It makes so much sense to give 10 years of your life to give yourself that type of, you know, income. It's crazy for people to think otherwise. So you have to understand that with your entrepreneurial mindset, you are the one that's thinking clear. These other people have been programmed to think that their lives aren't even worth giving themselves the chance. $30. I have to think about it. I laugh. You have to think about $30 when you just spent 60 over there on some, on some lobster that you're going to um, remove from your body in a couple hours? Hmm. Okay. Okay, starting out. I'm like, think about what? What are you thinking about exactly? $299 on sale, 90% off. I'm like, this is 90% off. You don't see that in any Black Friday sale. You're running out there to give people your money to buy up everything they have on clearance for 2018. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but you know y'all was buying all the stuff that they were getting rid of for 2019 so they can clear them shelves off and get some new stuff off for 2019, right? So you're running out there to give you people your money for stuff you don't even need. That's 30 bucks. 90% off the best deal in town. Oh my God. And you have to think about it. Okay. <laughs> that don't make no sense to me. I don't know what else you don't think about it. I told you everything possible out there. I don't know what else, but okay, I get it. That's fine. What's the real reason why you don't want to get started? Do you not believe in you? You don't think you can do it. Would you rather be an employee? It's okay. Those answers are okay. Because what you guys have to understand is evolution travel isn't for everybody. It is for those people who believe in themselves enough to want to push. Because if you have to convince them to join, you're going to have to convince them to stay, right? We want to be able to show them the value. We want to be able to show them exactly what we have to offer so that they're running to get it. If they don't know what they have, if you don't know that we have all this stuff at our fingertips, then you're not going to know why you want to stay, right? You're not going to know. So we have to know what we have in order to know what we're offering, and then that way the people will know why they want us. We won't have to convince them every single month when we see them um, inactive to come back. Okay, that's part of, that's part of, um, you know, the, the, um, the disconnect, right? Because me and David, uh, and then I feel weird calling him David because his name is his brother. So me and my brother, we joke all the time um, about the monster, right? Because every night, every night, you guys, for those of you who watch your, your back office, every night, 1245 Pacific, 
the monster comes out. For those of you who are builders, you know this monster that I'm speaking about. Oh, my goodness, we dread him, right? Because there's a monster that comes out every single night at 1245. And they go and they attack our people. They eat our people. <laughs> they eat our people in our back office, right? And then they leave our people bloody red. And then you go to your back office, you're like, oh, my goodness, the monster has come and eaten my people. And you know what that monster represents? That monster represents us not being a priority. Evolution not being a priority in their financial lives, right? That monster represents them not knowing all the good stuff they have. That monster represents the um, uncertainty in their business. And the reason why that monster is able to attack our weak agents is because we haven't given them the information they need to understand how important this business is so that they won't be attacked by that monster, right? That monster is their finances. That monster is, oh, my goodness, okay, something else came up. I'm going to just go ahead and put it a roof to the side, and I'll take care of them later, and I'll come back because they're going to be there. That monster represents that so we need to make sure people understand that this is not something that can be eaten up and then just oh i'll get it back later i know platinum that have put their bills aside to make sure evolution was paid on time because they understand the value of it and this is before they were platinum which is why they're platinum now because when they were gold they understood the importance of evolution and they made that their priority and now evolution is paying all of their bills. So when you put evolution aside to pay your bills, what you're missing out on is the benefit of evolution paying those bills for you, right? It's a correlation that you really need to really understand because once you understand what it can do for you, oh my goodness, that's like saying, okay, I'm not going to go to work today. Nah, I'm not going to go. But then get mad because your boss didn't pay you for the day you didn't go. It's the same thing. You want your job to pay your bills, you got to go to your job. So it works the same. Um, oh, my phone is beeping. You guys know I'm in the bed. I don't have my glasses on. Don't be trying to text me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I can't see it. I'm going to start with Tony. Yes. Hey, it's Jared Cecil from Orlando. Do you mind if I interject real quick? It's not question and answer time, but I guess it's, it's just that important. You go ahead. Well, 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 it's Jared Cecil from Orlando. I want to touch on what you were saying prior about how people are scared to sign up. I was that person. And I stood back and got with Dylan, and I was like, you know what? It's time to make a change. And I signed up. And now I'm a silver because of that. I made silver in three days. Good, good, good. Well, I'm, I'm so, glad you told us that testimony because you know what, um, Derek? I was that person too. Because it took me two months to sign up for Evolution. Well, not for Evolution, but for the, the travel industry. And like I'm saying to you guys now, is that it wasn't because the business wasn't a good business. It was because the person that was talking to me about the business did not understand nor know what she had to give. So since she did not give me the information, I wasn't receptive. So that's why it's really important for us to know the information so that we can get it out there and understand. Like you said, you had to wait and look at, what, look at it, right? So you looked at it, you saw whatever, and then you decided to participate. And that's yep. why it's important to listen to whoever it is that you're talking to like as an agent listen to your prospects listen to the people that you're you know reaching out to listen do not i repeat do not get on the phone and do many presentations every time you talk to somebody talk to them and then listen ask them a question and listen to their answer because evolution can be prescribed for so many different things that are going on in people's lives we can give you a prescription for whatever you need. Okay, you want some time freedom? Evolution can help. You need some financial freedom? Evolution can help. Are you looking for some people to travel with? Evolution can help. Are you looking for some good deals? Evolution can help. But you have to understand exactly what ailment you are prescribing for, and that way you'll know exactly how to heal your person. That's like going to the doctor because your leg hurts, but the doctor wants to tell you about your whole damn body. I don't care about my arm and my face and my neck and my back. 
I'm telling you, I need my my leg is hurting right now. When you're talking to the people on the phone, remember that. They don't care about building a team and stocks and all this other stuff. All this lady told you was she wanted to do her family reunion every single year. Can you help me with that? Speak to the person as an individual. Do not talk to a person as a group, okay? Because they're not the whole entire audience. It's just that person. And when you're speaking to them, they have to understand that you've individualized that conversation just for them. How many of you guys, <clears throat> you don't have to unmute yourself to tell me, but how many of you guys have gotten that phone call from the telemarketer who's reading that script and it got on your damn nerves? I will stop them. I will stop them and say, excuse me, are you reading the script? And they're, they keep, want to keep talking. I'm like, hello, 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 excuse me, are you reading the script? And they're like, well, I have some information. I said, okay, listen to me. Tell me about your company in your own words. And if they can't do it, I politely dismiss myself from the phone call. I do not want to talk to a robot. I do not want to just be part of the whole big shebang or whatever. You need to tell me how this is going to help me, not how it's going to help the person next to me. And that's the same thing with evolution. And that's how you'll become more successful in your business because when you personalize your presentation with your people, what they're going to understand is this business could be for me, it could be for him, it could be for her, because it's not just one cookie cutter type situation. It's something that can actually help me, you know, to do what I need to do. How can a business make you flexible if it's not flexible, right? You say you have no quotas, you say you have no guidelines, you say you have none of the stuff, but everything is strategically made so that I have to fit into that box. This is not um, that way, you guys. What you have to understand is this is your business, right? It's your business. And the more you grow, the more your business grows, the more you start to understand where you're going with your business, the more you can be successful. And that's super important. But your mind is a powerful, powerful, powerful thing. Right? Super powerful. Skydiving. Scary as hell. I want to go. I think I'm a bird. I think I'm an eagle. I think I can fly. I know I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. Right? I know I can fly. But when I found when uh, my brother told me, Tony, listen, over 76% of all people who skydive become millionaires. It was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer. Did something change from minute one to minute two? Or was it just my mind that changed? A made-up mind is the most powerful thing out there. If you make up your mind to get where you want to go, believe me, baby, you're going to get there. But you got to make up your mind first. You have to convince yourself first, right? I was listening to somebody uh, do a, talking to a, a prospect, not a prospect, person about the business. And I said, are you trying to convince them or yourself? Who are you trying to convince? <laughs> it's a good place to be. Who are you? Who, which one? I'm like, come on now. We're going to get this together. So it's really important for you guys to absolutely know um, what evolution has. And if you haven't experienced every single thing in the business, that's okay. You know, embrace the things that you have experienced. Embrace the things that make you happy. Embrace the things that make you Say, you know what? I don't care what happens this month. I don't, I'm paying my $69.95. It's going to be there ready to come out because I understand what I'm giving up by not paying that. And if you guys really understand what you get, we get so much for so little. We should really be paying three times as much per month and four times as much to get started. Um, and I'm not talking about the 30. I'm talking about four times the 299 because of what we have on a week. I had a lady on the Q&A last night, you guys, and she was just like, oh, my God. I have been researching so many, tra I'm going to provide the, I'm gonna provide the uh, recording. She said, I have been re researching so many travel agencies. I've been doing so much legwork trying to figure this out. She said, and I, I saw this company. She said, oh, you guys are like a third of what they cost. And they don't even offer as much as you guys. And the commission is way lower than what um, you guys have. I am joining Evolution. I can't believe a company like this exists. Those were her words. It could have been a better situation because this is a woman who had researched five and six different travel agencies. And this is what her, you know, research found was that Evolution was the best, period, hands down, on so many different levels. 
she was so animated and so excited. Like, oh, my, she said, I'm so happy that this call came at the end of my night because I didn't know what I was going to have to do. I was going to have to um, settle and try to the company. I'm so happy I got the information about this q and I was like, this is what this Q&A is made for. This, moments like that, made me feel like, okay, I'm doing this for all the right reasons. Because it seemed like that call, that moment, the light bulb, and she was in the chat box, in the chat box, in the chat box, in the chat box, going crazy, having her a good old time, you know, embracing the fact that, oh, my God, God sent me this business, and I am so happy about it. So once you know what you have and you're able to articulate that to somebody, it's going to be so much easier for you to get to whatever your level of success is going to be. And that might not be platinum. That might not be gold. It might not be silver. It might be the fact that you want to just be able to articulate to your you know, travel clients, hey, stop just taking my quotes. Book with me. I'm giving you these quotes. I'm giving you a good quote. This is good business. I'm going to take care of you. Go ahead and pay your deposit. Book with me. That, you know, your posture changes as you start to embrace what you have. So make sure you are an active member of your business. That $30 you spent, baby, was not a lottery ticket. You're not supposed to just sit there and scratch it off. You actually got to do something with your business. You have to learn, okay? I wish it was the evil lottery because, baby, we win all the time, okay? <laughs> well, it wasn't a lottery ticket. That was an opportunity for you to get 90% off of a fabulous business that can give you six figures a month if you put in the time. Remember, because your time allocation is directly related to your um, income. If you work 9 to 5, you're going to get paid 9 to 5. If you work 9 to 12, you're going to get paid 9 to 12. And you're not going to question your boss. So why would you question evolution when you work part-time but you want full-time pay? Or you work no time and you want full-time pay. Don't question the process. Question yourself. Because can't nobody make this money but you. This is your business, right? So you have to put in the work. When you start thinking, oh, my goodness, a whole other month has passed. I got to pay my bill. I've made no money. Check yourself. Get you a mirror and say, oh, my goodness, a whole other month has passed. I have done no work, so I don't deserve any money. Let's keep it real, you guys. This is Tony Ward, so you know I'm going to give it to you all and uncut. If you haven't done anything, you're not going to get anything. Period. Okay? That's just what it is. And then you can put in work for two or three months. And guess what? Nothing might not happen. But on that fourth month, pew, it starts to happen. So you don't want to give up. Um when you're right there at that moment. And you never really know what that moment is. So bottom line, you can never give up because it's coming. I promise you, if you never give up, you have nothing to worry about. Just don't do it. Keep that monster out your back office. Don't let him eat you up. Do not make yourself bloody red. And then you don't want anybody to say, oh, my goodness, the monster man came and ate up Lorraine. Where is she? Lorraine is gone. The monster man took my agent. Oh, my goodness, he just ate my agent. Don't let the monster eat you. And for those of you who have a big team, don't let the monster eat your team. Educate them, okay? Educate them. Make sure they know what they have. And if they're not listening, it's okay. You're not the mama and daddy. They don't have to listen to you, but you do should. You should. I won't say you do have to because you don't have to do anything. But you should if you don't want the monster to eat them. You should provide them with as much information, love, nurture, direction as possible, okay? Get there and get involved. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to my brother, the man who um, saved me from the monster. Okay, he didn't let the monster eat me at all. He's like, no, no, y'all not going to eat my sister. <laughs> She's going to be okay. I'm going to put her with every single thing she needs to fight anything and everything that might cleave her red. So without further ado, I want to introduce you guys, the founder of our fabulous company, um, the one who has changed so many lives in evolution and outside of evolution. He has the most generous heart of anybody I've ever met in my entire life. And I'll, I promise you guys, sometimes I forget that he's not my blood brother. And I have to think about it like, hold on, wait a minute. Um, who are you calling your brother? He is not your brother. <laughs> I can remember that God gave him to me. But I do have to share him with you guys. Um, I don't want to, but I have to. So without further ado, I want to introduce you guys, the founder of Evolution Travel, 
Mr. David McCovey himself. But are you there? Hello? Okay, now I feel like Four stars. <laughs> Four star founder. <laughs> He's my brother, too. Where you at, brother? I am right here. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, hey. good morning. Top of the morning, my fabulous <laughs> Tony, great job as usual. Gail, yeah, thank you for doing what you do. I mean, it's, you know, we're three years running and you held this call down every morning. That's a, a, a feat in itself. And uh, uh, it just kind of, it, absolutely. It just kind of goes into what, uh, what Tony was saying, you know, that, you know, it's leaders think different. Family. I mean, they, they really do. If you, if you look at the things that the leaders do, um, I guarantee there, there are different things that, you know, than the average person does. Um, you know, it, it's really, really important to, 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 to note that and to run with bulls are the ones who are going to have a success. You know, it's just, it's a thought process. I, I, I had a, a conversation the other day with um, Gold Consultant Savannah Alexander. She was telling me, she's like, Founder, you don't even understand how you're a point of argument in our home. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And so I hope she doesn't mind. I'm going to read something that she sent me. Uh, and this is the gold consultant, Savannah Alexander, and she says, I need to share something with you. I was going to wait until you at conference this year, but couldn't wait. I've been in this business almost a year now. Time goes fast. You, sir, are utilized as a source of argument in my home with my 16-year-old son constantly. Wonder why? Your hair. I tell my son, cut his hair and how he must present himself in business uh, to be taken seriously. He immediately points out how you are a nonconformist, wears your hair braided, and yet you are successful without being an entertainer or athlete. He always says, Ma, like Mr. David, with sheer determination, hard work, and God's grace, I will be successful. So thank you for being an example uh, to aspire and to emulate, but you, sir, are not helping this issue. <laughs> Have a great day. And I thought that was so funny when she sent me that, and I think all of us as entrepreneurs, we are that way. We're, we're different. You know, everyone on this line is different. So when you get the feedback, like Tony talked about, from your family, your friends, and it's, oh, you're crazy, oh, you're doing those things, and who are those people, and all of those things. Do not let those things deter you, because unless the people who are talking to you have exactly the lifestyle that you want, they can't tell you what to do. Right? It, 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 you, you have to understand, guys, we live in a society where people try to push things off on us that make no sense. But because it was pushed off on them and it was pushed off on the people who pushed it off on them and so on and so forth, it became the norm. I had this exact conversation yesterday. I was riding with Gold Consultant Black and Banks and we were talking and we were talking about the banking system because there's certain things that I just don't believe in. I believe that society has taught us something or put something on us so long that we don't even question it. We just do. And, you know, I have a story about uh, um, when I first started network marketing, it was about a doctor I was on the plane with. You know, and he told me that he would trade places with me in a minute once he understood how much I made and what I did. And so for me, that was the most powerful aha moment that I could ever have because here was that somebody that society teaches us to look up to is a doctor. And he told me, he said, I would trade places with you in a heartbeat because at that time, he had just started his residency. He was going to make $130,000 per year, but he was $300,000 in debt and student loan. So society pushes things up on, on us like that and expects us to accept them because they've been accepted for so long. And so back to the banking story, I was sharing with Blanton Bank. I, I, I was so funny because I go into my bank and I will draw large sums of cash all the time. And one day the lady, I guess she finally, you know, grew the cojones. Asked, she's like, Mr. McCovey, it's like, you always take out a lot of cash. Like, what do you do with the money? I said, whatever I want. I said, I don't know you guys like that. You might be going tomorrow. And she laughed, right? I was talking about the bank. But the bank is, is <laughs> and I hope I don't offend anyone by saying this, it's one of those things that doesn't make sense. Think about what happens, right? You go there, you give them your money, right? Sometimes you give it all to them. You give them your money. They pay you almost zero for that money. Like the interest is, is absolutely laughable. They shouldn't give you anything for the small fractions they give you. But then they turn around and lend that same money out to other people, charge them whatever high interest rate they can that the people will accept, right? They charge you to get your own money if you don't come and get it directly for them, right? You go use the ATM at a, at a store or uh, an, another bank, uh, ba a banking institution or whatever case may be. They charge you for that money. And if you want to go get a lot of it out at a time, they put you through the ringer to try to get it out. How does that make sense? And, and again, I hope I don't offend anyone, 
on this line. But again, this is this is the banking system. This is something that has been put on us by our parents and their parents' parents and parents' parents' parents forever. But if you think about it and break it down, it doesn't make sense. We bend over backwards, pay fees to let someone else use our money, pay us almost nothing on the money. They give the money to other people, make the money on that, and then charge us to get our own money. How does that make sense? But we subscribe to it every single day because that's what we think we're supposed to do. And so I'm not picking on the banks because there are a ton of things out there in society that we subscribe to. So it's okay to be different. So when you think differently and you understand things from a different perspective, it doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means that you're a free thinker. Don't allow anyone to push their opinions off on you. So when you know in your soul that you're supposed to be an evolution travel and that you're supposed to be working your business because it is the fastest way in the industry to a comma check, bar none, no other company gives what we give and you have to do the smallest amount of work here to receive that comma check, you know that. So don't let anyone deter you from that. It's real simple. It's okay to be different. It's okay to think different. I just told you, if God wants all the same, we'd all be 5'8", brown this, brown that, blonde this, blonde. We're not like that. We're different. It's okay to be different. The ones that are the most different usually make the most money. They told Zuckerberg he was an absolute fool for trying to do what he did. Look at Steve Jobs. Right? So a lot of the people that we use their product right now, and it's second nature to us because we've used it so long, are innovators. They're free thinkers. They're, they don't conform. They don't care what other people say. Because I know in my life, you can't make me want what I don't want. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. I, I was um, uh, looking, I was sharing uh, with the Founders Council, um, we, we have a box um, because, you know, the Raiders, uh, we have a luxury box. The Raiders are coming to um, Las Vegas. We have an evolution luxury box. And the general was trying to sell me another box. And he started corresponding again yesterday. And he's like, well, you know, you have a great box already, but, you know, we, we have another one you can get. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's trying to sell me on the thing. I said, listen, I said, this thing is going to cost me $6 million over the course of the next 15 years. You can't make me want what I don't want. I already have one. And, he's, he's, and, and when I finally broke it down to him that he can't sell me on something that I don't believe in because I already have one, he says, ha-ha. Uh, he sent me a text, ha-ha, um, uh, fair enough. And, and he backed away. So that's just, uh, you know, a, a random example of every day people are going to try to push things on you that they're not what you want, and especially in business. I know exactly the, the person that Tony was sharing the story about because she's near and dear to me too. And I cannot wait to see her breakthrough. She's close to gold. And once she hits gold, she'll be on momentum to platinum. And it's going to happen for her. And I cannot wait for it. I'm, I'm more excited for her than when I first hit my top rank in, in a company because I know what she's going through. I mean, it doesn't matter if other people believe in what you're after. It only matters that you believe because their belief alone can't get you there. But yours can. So don't allow people to steal your dreams. A lot of times people don't even know that they're dream stealers. They've had their dreams stolen from them. So again, it becomes the thing to do, right? They, they, they don't mind watching you work, you know, your fingers and your back and your feet to the bone to make it to retirement, to maybe have enough money comfortably to live for a few years. And then you're back in the workforce. You're back at the Walmarts. And when we see the, the older people, no disrespect. But why does that make sense? It doesn't. It does not. We have everything, and, 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 and guys, when I talk, I'm not just talking about I'm talking life. Like, this, this, this is a life lesson. Everything that we want, we can acquire. As long as we believe and we put the work in. There's nothing out here in life that you guys want that you cannot have if you're willing to work for it, period. There's nothing. So don't allow someone who does not understand your vision because God did not give them your vision, so you can't expect them to understand it anyway. Don't allow them to deter you from doing what you know that you're supposed to be doing. And again, I don't care if it's evolution. I don't care if, it, if it's a beauty salon or you want to become a, a hairstylist, a nail tech, you want to open a lash company. I don't care what it is. Don't allow anyone else's opinion to limit you. It's real simple. It's real simple. Me and Sonali talk all the time. I tell her every day is my birthday. Every day. Every day is my birthday. Every day is Christmas. Every day, to me, are all the good days. I get them every day. Because I do not conform. I don't let anyone else tell me what I should be doing. I don't. I refuse. They don't have the lifestyle I want, so we don't need to talk about what I should be doing. Maybe I should tell you what you should be doing. Right? You guys know that you're on to the right thing. That's why you're on this call. If you're on the West Coast, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Some of you are hiding behind your desk. 
under your desk at work, got a hoodie on with the earpiece in, because you know you're not supposed to be on the phone, right? So, so you're making the necessary sacrifices to have the success that you want. So run with the people who are having those same successes and don't let anyone deter you. It's real simple. We make this thing harder than it has to be. Stay plugged in, stay committed, stay connected to those who are already winning, put the work in, and boom, guess what's going to happen? You're going to win too. It's not that complicated. It's really not. Will it happen overnight? Absolutely not. We saw Tony Ward go platinum in 24 hours, but like she said, it was kind of 24 hours, but it was really like six years in 24 hours, right? Because she had to build up the skill set and the relationship and all of those things she had to do to be able to put 300 partners into the business in the first 30 days, or in the first 24 hours, I'm sorry. We always say people see the shine, but they don't see the grind. Yes, I'm the founder of the most amazing company in the network marketing space. But you didn't see me four years ago when I was the only one standing in the room at a meeting that I was holding. Well, five years ago, I'm just five years in the industry. Right, so no one saw that part. So they didn't see when I have flyers all over the city and, and I'm running radio ads and I get to the, to the meeting room and there's no one there but me. But you know what I did? I didn't cry. I didn't pout. I didn't say, oh, this isn't going to work. I locked the door so that anyone who came late could not come in because they were not on time. I put in Mark Yarnell, first year of network marketing on YouTube, and I watched the training and I trained myself. That's what I did. I used the time effectively. Because no one that I invited saw fit to come, that's fine. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I got it together. I got it together. I worked on me. Because we know the saying, everyone loves a winner. Everyone wants to be partnered with a winner. So if you want people to partner with you, what should you do? Learn how to win. Not a hard recipe, family. But work is hard. But the concept is simple. How many people will you allow to steal a dream from you? They can line up around the block. They're not going to steal it from me because I live the way that I want to live every day. I'm watching my leaders start to live the way that they want to live every day. I'm watching my leaders' leaders get in position to live the way that they want to live every day. That's all the evidence I need. I don't need validation from outside people. I have my core people that I get to watch grow and become prosperous, and I watch them duplicate that with their people. You're in the right place. All you have to do is put the work in. Tony said it best. Some of us want to do nothing and make full-time money. That's a period of We don't have a <laughs> That's what that is. You have to put the work in here. But I promise you, if you put the work in, the reward is there for you. I, mean, I thank all of you guys for being on this call, especially you West Coast. I know it's super, super early in the morning. I appreciate everyone hiding under the desk, sitting in their car, not going into work right now because they wanted, they didn't want to miss the call. I appreciate you all trusting. You see a lot of us at the top of the deal get to be the face of the deal, but it's everyone that's on this call that are making the sacrifice that people don't see that makes us the best company in this planet, on the planet. It's real simple. It's a group effort. It's almost like when you see a team win a Super Bowl, right? And they get up there and they talk about the players who no one knows or who no one sees, but that they practice against every day, so that, that allows them to perfect their craft. So we understand there's a lot of people behind the scenes that are doing these type of things. It's the corporate staff, it's the, the junior partners, it's the new agents. You guys are what inspired us at the top. So we know that we're doing the right thing because we see the work. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. I know I say that not just from my heart, but from all the Elite Eight members, all the founder council members, all the corporate staff, and everyone. So thank you, family. We appreciate you. We love you. And let's continue to work. Yeah, take us home, sis. All right. Thank you, Brother Man. You said some awesome things that are so profound, especially when you said about the uh, the haters, that they don't know that they are hate, you know, because their dream, the dream stealer, their, their dream, they're stolen from now. So they think, they really think they're helping somebody when they're telling them, don't do that business. That's a pyramid. Yeah. They think that they're I mean, helping and because they don't get it. They just don't get it. They don't get what we have our hands on because they were raised to think that, what, a nine to five is what you do? So they see us out here doing something different. Our loved ones come in, they're like, what are you doing? You know, that's not... 
you know, what you're supposed to be doing. And so that was, I, when you said that, I was like, wow, that's so amazing. And a lot of people don't realize that they're dream stealers. Man. All right, family. So what we're going to do is, um, I know that the founder probably has to go, but Tony, do you want to answer a few questions before we go? Sure, I can answer some questions. Now, guys, you know, I just, I don't know what to say. You know, we didn't get prayer, but we'll get prayer back. But you guys that Tony Queen Wild War, the first to do everything in evolution, our queen of evolution, and you got the founder that, that this is his brainchild, uh, evolution, when he told us we're going to do our own thing, and that ain't exactly how he said it, we said, okay, we rocking with you. <laughs> And so, man, you guys got to hear him speak um, about some very important things. I hope you were listening. I hope you were taking notes. I mean, it was completely amazing to get both of these individuals on this call today. All right, so, Tony, let's do some questions and answers. Thank you, founder, brother, for getting on here this morning. I love you so much. appreciate everything you do for us and the family here at Evolution. Um, I don't even want to talk about you no more because I'm a star crying. All right, Tony, let's do some <laughs> questions and answers right now this morning. All right, for a star, guys, if you have anything you would like to uh, talk to Tony about, if you want to um, just thank her, show her some love for being on the call this morning, or if you want to um, speak on something that she said. Hello, this is Cassandra from Dallas. How you doing, everybody? Hey, good morning. I, uh, Tony, I just, first of all, hey, hey, my, Mama Gay, I just thank you for this call. And, and founder, i taken taking that word home with me all the way to my heart, learn to win. You don't even know how much that has hit me right now today. And, Tony, I just wanted to uh, just thank you for your words, man. Um, you have helped me reach the level of silver. I just wanted you to know that being on that call uh, every day during the last promotion that we had, I mean, I had one agent that I came in and she made a uh, executive in three days. And I'm just telling you, that has been such a motivation to me and the thing you're saying about staying connected and being able to understand who you are in the business. And that's what I'm learning is that I am somebody and it was just hard for me to get there and knowing who I was. And once I learned that, it was easy for me to tell someone else because I'm a talker, but I had to get it in me first. And your words today just kind of actually kind of pounded that more and more in me. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Founder. I just appreciate you all. Y'all made me cry this whole time. Y'all <laughs> I, 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 I had my aha moments, you know, and I'm still so proud of you here. And ready to keep going toward gold. I'm ready. I'm motivated. I got my agents motivated, and we're ready to take take Dallas and every other area by storm. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. So welcome. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I'm Tony. I just want to say um, on behalf of the agents here in Columbus, because they keep blowing up my inbox. They really say they appreciate you. They Aww. appreciate your work. And to the founder, the founders, council members, the platinum to go, to everybody who worked behind the scenes, we all just thank you for your hard work and making this opportunity available for us. And we're going to rock with y'all. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you, Tony. This is uh, James from Florida, Will's, Will's Up Travel. And uh, I, I just thank you. I just thank you so much. I mean, I got so I get so much out of you, and I follow you. I got you in my uh, on my Facebook, and I follow you. Uh, and David, I can't say more about him. I was I I, I had the opportunity. Something told me in my spirit to uh, to to because I was like using the logo of uh, evolution on my card. I said, well, I better call somebody or talk to somebody, hook up, and just get the okay on it. So uh, my 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 uh. Sponsor, uh, which is which is Catherine Kersey, had given me his number. I said, "Bam, I'm just gonna call him. He just he's just a person." I called him a couple of weeks ago. Man, we talked for about 20 minutes, and that did so much for me. I mean, I am so charged up. Uh, I, I know that it's hard work in this business. It's not you're not going to get there uh, overnight. 
But I put in the work. I listen to all the webinars and register. I'm registered for every for everything that we have to offer. I have registered for. And I mean, I'm not using them all now, but just to be registered, I'm going to use them all. I'm going to I'm going to be known as the travel king of of of, of Florida for cruises. And I, I I mean I I I am just so charged up that I only been in the business two months. But trust me, I'm putting in the work, and I know I have a, I have a goal. I know I'm going to get there because I'm putting in the work. You got to put in the work to get something out of it. You got to train. I train constantly. I'm listening to webinars, YouTube, uh, 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 everything, anything I can grab. Now, you only can do so much in a day because you're only going to absorb so much of it. So I don't go on the, on the overload when I'm when I'm when I'm when I got enough of it. I start off the next day the same way. And I thank you, Gail. I, I am a permanent member of this call here because I tell you, this call is the bomb. Yeah, I mean, hey, we get so much information on this call every day. It's unbelievable. I, I advise anybody that wants to start off on the right track to, to plug in on this call in the morning because this will put you put you in the right direction. You know, and I, I just, I, I'm telling you, I thank you. I thank David for everything that he's doing. And I, I think Gail, I think all all the all the leaders, because if you, if you want to get, if you want to do something, you only replicate the people that are doing it and that are doing it the best way. And that's what I'm doing. I uh, thank you so much. You are so welcome. On behalf of all of us, you are so welcome. Good morning. This is Chloe from Chicago. Hey, hey family. Um, I just want to say thank you, founder, and highlight um, all of the leaders, the E8, the FC, the pioneer leaders. And um, I just want to say yesterday I was talking to my sister, Jamia, and we were just, you know, sitting and talking about belief. And I know Tony mentioned that on the call. Um, you don't necessarily have to be worried about the ones that don't believe you. And um, as long as you believe enough, your belief will carry you. And the ones who are serious and understand the value that we have, as she was saying on the call, because for a founder to believe in us and to enforce his belief on a napkin and for those eight that he presented it to, to believe in us and to duplicate all the way down to however many active members we have in the company, it's just because of that single belief that you have. And I remember when I started in the company, I was super excited and I was telling all of my family, like, I started something new and I believe in it, I can do it. And everybody's just looking at me like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm not interested in what you're doing, but because I believed in us, and I continue to push forward. Now I've duplicated the process and to have a growth in my team and to see, and even James who just spoke on the call, you know, who's talking about my mom. And I remember my mom was like, you know, I'll probably never do this. I'll probably never join you. And to see her growth in her business, it just shows you. And it's the proof that if you believe enough that you can do it. But I just want to thank you guys and always super salute you guys because you are there for us. You provide the support and the tools that we need. And if you believe enough in yourself and what we have, then you can do it. Amen to that. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for your comments. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Tony. Good morning. This is Hi, Mississippi. Tony. Go on. Yes. I'm going to go after you. Please, please, please go after him first. Uh -huh. That's okay. Yes. Jean, you got it, girl. You go first, and I'll go after you. Go ahead and use your voice. <laughs> Go ahead and use your voice while you got it. <laughs> oh, listen to you. Listen to you. Uh, all I have to say is good morning. Sound great, Tony. I just have to tell you personally. Thank you for this amazing opportunity. And if I think about when we had that first talk, founder, thanks to Tony Wildborn, I wouldn't be 